Hello again. This is the second part of the vocabulary lesson, Unit 5. In the second part of this lesson, we're going to work on compound nouns, advertising collocations, and collocations with idea. Then we will do some practice, and I'm going to give you some suggestions on further study and practice. Now we're going to go over the second group of vocabulary from your book in Unit 5, page 58. We will be working on compound nouns. Let's begin with an exercise and get familiar with this group of words. Choose the correct option to complete the sentences. You will notice that all the words in the options are compound nouns, which are made of two words. Now pause your video and take your time to do this exercise. Let's check the answers. Number one is B. Two is A. Three is A. And four is B. And let's go on. Again, pause your video and continue doing this exercise. Number five is B. Number six is B. And number seven is A. Now let's match the compound nouns with their definitions. Be careful, two of the nouns have the same meaning. Let's check the answers. Number one is C, two is E, three is B, four is D, five is F, six is A, and seven is D again. So drawback and downside, they both mean disadvantage. Let's take a look at the meaning of these words in more detail. Number one, the downside of all this success means the disadvantage of this success. And it is used with the preposition of or to. So you can say the downside of all this success or the downside to all this success. The outlook for the economy means the expectation about the future of the economy and it is used with the preposition for in this meaning. Number three, here the word drawback also means disadvantage, just like the word downside. You can also use it with the preposition of or to. For example, you can say the only drawback to this city is its weather or the only drawback of this city is its weather. Breakdown means failure and it is commonly used with the word communication. So communication breakdown is a collocation. Breakdown is also commonly used for marriages, relationships. You can say he moved away after the breakdown of his marriage. Trade-off means to balance one situation or quality against another in order to produce an acceptable result. It means to make an arrangement or to compromise. In Turkish, it could be translated to Turkish like ödün vererek anlaşmak. So it is usually used in this form, to trade off between something and something else, or to trade off between X and Y. Breakthrough means a discovery, but it is a big and important discovery. That's why it is often used with the adjectives major or big. Here you see the expression make a major breakthrough. Number seven and the last one is outcome. Outcome means the result of something. And in this example, you see it with the word election, which is uh, commonly used with the word outcome. Outcome of the election means the result of the election. Now let's do an exercise about compound nouns. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. Again, remember to pause your video. Let's check the answers. 
first one is breakdown second is outlook number three is trade-off number four is outcome number five is breakthrough and number six is drawback when we look at the uh, sentences here in this exercise the first one you will notice the um, collocation again breakdown of his marriage in the second one you see outlook used with the preposition for in the third one you see trade-off between x and y you remember this structure we talked about this so trade-off between cost and perfection is an example to this structure in number five you see the um, collocation a major breakthrough and in number six you see the word drawback with the preposition to drawback to these products now we will start studying the third group of vocabulary advertising collocations you can find this group of words in your book in unit 5 page 59 before we talk about their meanings let's test ourselves with this practice pause your video and complete the collocations with nouns from the box above let's check the answers the first collocation group should be to launch a product or to advertise a product the second group should be to set a price or to raise a price and the last group should be to break into a market or to enter a market now let's go on working on collocations in this exercise you will add the verbs from the box to the word webs pause your video please Let's see what the answers are. We can go over the verbs in the box one by one. Increase a price. Promote a product. Dominate a market. Reduce a price. See a gap in a market and endorse a product so these are the uh, important collocations related to advertising in order to go over their meanings in more detail let's do a matching exercise here again pause your video and match the collocations with their definitions Let's check the answers. Number one is D, two is E, three is H, four is F, five is A, six is I, seven is C, eight is G, and nine is here is a practice to review some of these collocations pause the video and complete the sentences with the words in the box here are the answers number one is reduce two is dominate and three is endorses here is a second group of words again complete the sentences with the words in the box let's check the answers number one is launched number two is enter and number three is set Now we're going to work on the fourth and the last group of vocabulary from your book, Unit 5, page 
62. In this part of the lesson, you're going to go over some collocations with the word idea. Please read this text and write down five adjectives and four verbs which collocate with the word idea. You will need to pause your video again. Let's begin with checking the adjectives. You're going to see the adjectives underlined. First one is brilliant, a brilliant idea. Second one is predictable. Next one is bizarre. So we can use those words with the word idea, a predictable idea or a bizarre idea. Next adjective is dreadful. And the last one is unrealistic. So these are all the um, adjectives which are used with the word idea. And now let's check the verbs and you will see them circled. The first one is come up with. Come up with an idea or ideas. It's a collocation. Reject an idea is another collocation. Criticize an idea is the third one. And develop your ideas or develop an idea is a very commonly used collocation. To work on their meanings, let's move on to the next activity. In the box above, you see all the collocations with the word idea. Now, replace the words in bold with a word from the box. Remember, there is one extra word in the box. Now, pause the video and do the exercise, please. Let's check the answers. First one is come up with. So, get my best ideas means I come up with my best ideas. Second one is dreadful. A terrible idea is very close to a dreadful idea. Third is reject. Say no to an idea is actually rejecting an idea. Fourth one is develop. Expanding ideas is very similar to developing ideas. A crazy idea is similar to a bizarre idea. And say my ideas are bad means criticizing my ideas. Not very practical means unrealistic ideas. And the last one is an obvious idea is a predictable idea. Okay, before we finish this lesson, I'm going to give you some options to study more and to practice more. First, you can go to your book, your course book, and uh, please do the exercises on page 56, exercise 3a and b. On page 58, you will see exercise 8a and 8b. And on page 152, you will do two exercises in the vocabulary bank part. You should also uh, go to my English lab and you will do some vocabulary exercises in Unit 5. And you will also find some extra ex uh, activities on the vocabulary of Unit 5 on uh, the school blog. And if you go to Edmodo, you will see two links that I posted. The first one is a Quizlet game and the fifth and the last one is a very fun, enjoyable website. Uh, if you go to this website, you will write any word in the search bar and it will bring you some short video clips of movies which you will hear that uh, word that you're searching for. So it is really good fun. Thank you very much and have a nice day.